Uh, William Courtney, I'm a physician. Uh, my practice is solely on cannabis. Um, there was an article in Scientific American in December of 2004 about the brain's own marijuana and uh, was intrigued with the idea that there were uh, substances that went from the postsynaptic to the presynaptic. So, combination of uh, interest in the biochemistry, uh, the idea that there the body produces cannabinoids, and then obviously the, the range of effects. You know, as I studied it, became amazingly interesting. This is the one area of medicine where you, most of what you learn it comes from patients and their experience. A lot of my patients, I live and work in Mendocino and Humboldt counties in Northern California, um, and individuals have come from around the world to be comfortable there and develop safe access and use to the medicine. So if someone from Texas noticed that it helped their lupus, you know, they would kind of gravitate in that direction so that they could grow without fear of you know, um, being arrested or imprisoned. Um, and so the patients would bring these stories that you know, are pretty hard to believe. Uh, from a Western medical mind, the Western medical mind likes this idea of a silver bullet, like an antibiotic. You know, take penicillin and stops the cell wall from you know, being able to divide the ample dyes. And so we, we being Western medical docs, have a single effect for a single drug so that they can really understand it and control it. Where uh, cannabis is very unusual in that it has such a breadth of activity. Um, I now know that that's based on the fact that it's very tissue specific effects. So a molecule like cannabidiol. Uh, which is a modulator, which means it regulates cell function, can upregulate or downregulate. It has a different effect, um, you know, in an adrenal gland, a smooth muscle, and a connective tissue, a secretory, or a tissue involved with absorption. Um, and so you end up with a, a concept that's very hard for the Western medical mind to kind of embrace. Um, and it, it looks like the definition of snake oil. Uh, but on closer examination, it really is uh, reflects 34 million years of evolution and is a finely honed um, modulator that complements uh, the way we modulate our own cellular function. And it's a dietary essential. It's so much more than a medicine, and it definitely is safe.